Okay, guys, we're going to start getting ready to start just in a second here. Okay. So before you get started, um, we're trying to get the streaming stuff going. I don't know how long this stuff is going to last. So if you can help support us, please feel free to click the donation button on our webpage. Whatever you're comfortable doing is fine. Uh, you can do it once a month. You can do it from time to time. And if you're in a tough place right now, just come and take some yoga with us. Um, we're coming live to you live from my studio here in Potomac, Maryland. If you look at our online schedule for streaming, we're doing about three classes. Well, we're doing three classes a day, Monday through Friday, and two classes on Saturday and two classes on Sunday. Currently, we will be adding some other content. There will be some teachers Skyping in from home remotely, maybe for some unique classes or some teachers that just um, for their own reasons are deciding to hunker down and just uh, stay at home for a little while. Um, I got Sarah with me today and Jen. We got about seven or eight of us that are just trying to create as much content as you can so that we can have it for you guys to keep your practices going. If you go to www.villageyogayogi.com, the On Demand um, tab will take you to videos on demand. This one will be up a little bit later today. Just click on the link. It'll take you to my YouTube channel. You'll be able to just play the video there again. We're kind of doing this on an honor system. So if you feel you can support us and you can, please do. And if you're not ready to do it now, maybe a little bit later. Um, today, we're going to take an all-levels class. If you've never taken my class uh, before, all-levels can get quite challenging at times because it's for all levels, including the people that have advanced. And it might get a little bit easy at times because it's also for the people that are just starting out. Somewhere in the middle, you middle yogis probably will find this the most enjoyable in terms of consistency, but we should have a, fun with our, a little fun with everything we do today. All right, my name's Freddie. If you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, things you'd like to see, not see, go ahead and email me and I will respond to you on our webpage, I mean through my webpage. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I wanna come on to hands and knees. <clears throat> so. Hands and knees nice and easy. What I want you to do, I just want you to look over your left shoulder and try to see if you can see your left foot, maybe just a little bit. Take your feet about hip width apart. We're just trying to keep some strain. Don't wrench into your neck here. Good, come back through center. Good, let's try to look up over that other shoulder maybe. Try to see the back corner of your mat. Maybe you can see your foot. Don't make yourself crazy about this. Good, come back to center. Good, let's inhale, extend the left foot back, right hand forward, breathe. And exhale it down. And inhale the other side, left hand forward, right foot back. And down. Okay, back to that other side, right hand, left foot back. And put them down. Last one like this, right foot back, left hand forward, breathe. And let's put it down. Good. Exhale into a cat tilt, roll the spine up nice and high, check out your tummy. And then inhale into a cow, bring that heart forward. Again, exhale, roll the spine up nice and high, check out your tummy, hold here for a full breath. Another big inhale and another big exhale. Good, on the next inhale, come into cow tilt, coming the other way, breathe. Take a full breath here, big inhale and big exhale. Let's come to neutral spine. So our three positions of the spine, rounded spine, up, good. Neutral spine, belly's tight, this is like plank halfway lifts. Okay, and then if we dump into that cow tilt, this is back bends. Okay, right foot straight back, left hand forward, breathe nice and easy here. So bring your elbow towards your knee, do not round your spine. We're here, it's like a crunch, breathe. Now knee to the nose, round the spine and extend it back. Again, elbow towards the knee, do not round the spine. Knee to nose, round the spine and extend it back. One more time, elbow towards the knee, don't round the spine. Good, knee to nose, round the spine and extend it back. Good, bend the knee, see if you can reach back with this left hand, you'll find that right ankle, kick the foot up and back, let the heart come forward. Two big breath here. One more breath here. Good, release that foot straight back. This left hand comes down to the mat. We peel the right hand high, try to keep the leg elevated if you can, you could hang here. If you can bend the knee and grab the ankle, and kick into a back bend, do that. Release the right foot straight back, take the right hand down the mat, curl the left toe under, down dog split. Shake that leg out. Put that foot on down. Inhale, bend both knees almost to the back. Bear plank, hold. Downward facing dog. 
Again, inhale, bend those knees almost to the mat, bear plank, hold. Good, and drop down. Let's try the other side. Left foot straight back, right hand forward. Elbow tubes up towards the knee, don't round the spine. Knee to the nose, round your spine. And extend them back. Again, elbow towards knee, don't round the spine. Knee to nose, round the spine. And extend it back. One more time, elbow towards the knee. Round the spine, knee to nose. And extend it back. Bend the knee, see if you can reach back with that left hand and find that foot. If you can't get to that foot and you're just sitting here like this, this is fine, okay? Take the foot up nice and high, let the heart come forward, breathe. Let's extend that left foot straight back, base the right hand down on that. Peel the left hand high, rotating open. Now, bend the knee and see if you can drop down and find the foot. Now, what I want you to think about is this foot's kicking slightly down and towards the wall behind you. Feel your right pelvis draw through. Two more breaths. One more breath and release. Good, hand down, knee down. All right, let's start. extend the left foot straight back, the right toe, curl it under, down dog split, shake that left leg out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, and then put it on down. Again, inhale into bear plank, breathe. We're strong here, let's wake up our core. Let's take the right hand forward, tap the left shoulder, and put it down. Left hand forward, tap the shoulder, put it down. Right hand out, forward, and down. Left hand out forward and down good downward facing dog so if that bear plank is a little too challenging right now you could have done all that with the knees right down on that mat no problem walk the dog out a little bit bending the left and the right and the left and the right let's walk those feet forward to the hands coming into a forward fold inhale halfway lift and exhale forward fold Good, inhale the hands up high to the sky, and hands come down into prayer. Let's take a couple deep breaths here before we really get going. Big inhale, big exhale. One of the things I do when I run or bike, if you ever run or bike past me, you'll see this in my first half mile or so. Big inhale through the nose, stick the tongue out the mouth. Ah, that releases the neck, releases the body. One more time, big inhale through the nose. Exhale out that mouth, tongue out. Ah. Lion's breath. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Let's sit down into chair. Toss them. Set your shoulders down. Belly's tight. Core's engaged. Breathe. So your big toes are touching. Your heels are slightly apart. Turn on those internal hip flexors. Breathe. Let the weight rock into the toes. Let the weight rock into the heels. Now, your touch is probably scooting up a little bit into a little bit of a backbone. I want you to tuck your tailbone until your pelvis feels neutral. There it is. Now, right here at the bra line, ladies, guys, where your ribs are. Sorry about that. Let's knit the ribs together. That's a perfect chair pose. One more breath here. Forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Take your feet about, I don't know, fist width apart. Peace fingers, grab your big toes and pull your heart down towards your thighs and breathe. As the weight shifts forward into the toes, feel the hamstrings press back towards the back wall. Let the crown of the head drive down towards the ground. Inhale, bend both knees just a smidge. As you straighten them, drive the head down, push the hamstrings back, spread the back wide. Again, inhale, bend those knees just a touch. Exhale and straighten. Two more breath here. When you release the toes, just grab opposite elbows and hang. Ragdoll. Sway a touch side to side. Nod the head, yes, shake the head. Now we're getting ready to start moving here, guys. And release the hands down to the mat. Let's inhale, halfway lift. And let's exhale, forward fold. All right, big step back with the left foot, left hand to the mat, right hand to the sky, nice easy twist. So if you notice here with Sarah, her left hand is in line with her right ankle. Draw the right knee toward you. Reach to the heel. We're stacked from the arm through the fingertips. Breathe, nice and easy here, two big breath. Good, one more breath here. Release the hand down to the mat. Let's pick up into standing split, left foot goes high. Let the nose come down towards the knee, let that left foot roll as high as it can go. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breath. Big inhale here. The exhale is a step back into warrior one, right foot forward. 
So yoga journal is going to say something like heel to heel alignment, rotate the left hip forward, draw the right hip back, all absolutely correct. For my hips, since I have strong, wide hips, kind of big hips, I need to take my right foot a little bit right. That's going to let me rotate this left forward and bend into the knee. Hands go to the high. The knee tracks over the middle of that front. We reach to the outside edge of the back foot. Feel this engagement here. Two big breath here. One more breath here. Exhale the hands down to the mat, send that right foot back here in plank. First plank of the day, we're long from heels to crown of head. Bring the heart forward and breathe. Chaturanga, low push up. Maybe you lower all the way to the mat. Baby cobra or an upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Breathe. Continuing on this right side, right foot goes high to the sky, reach it up nice and high. Knee to the nose, round the spine. Drop the knee almost mat, we're back in that neutral spine. Extend the right leg straight back. Down dog split. Let's try that one more time. Knee to the nose, round the spine. Drop the knee almost the mat, head up hard forward. Extend that leg straight back. Down dog split. Good. Step the right foot forward and through. Inhale up into warrior one. Big inhale, hands come up nice high. We're right where we just were. Breathe. We're kind of going a little bit in reverse here. Good. Big inhale here. On the exhale, twist. Left hand forward, right hand back. Keep reaching and pull the back heel off the mat into lunge legs. Inhale, hands high, high lunge. So this move is teaching you how to spin that thigh bone within that hip socket. Let's just drop this left heel down, find that warrior one again. Good. As we twist, this hand comes forward, this back heel comes up off the mat. You'll feel yourself rotate into like a running motion type feel. Drop the left hand down the mat, right hand to the high. On an exhale, swing the right hand down underneath the right thigh and across the heart, inhaling it right back up. And again, swinging it down and across the heart and inhaling it right back up. Last time, down across the heart. Good, let's inhale it right back up. Drop the right hand down to the mat, step the left foot forward, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. And let's sit down in the chair. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, hands come into prayer. Let's take a prayer twist. Left elbow, right knee. So the key to chair twist is you want to feel your left elbow and you want to draw the left rib cage through. Feel the palms together. Draw the top shoulder back. The gaze starts neutral, looking to the sidewall. If you can, start looking up over your top shoulder. Spread your back wide. Heave your heart. Two more breath. One more breath. Good. Forward fold. Hands down to the mat. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Big step back with the right foot, right hand to the mat, left hand to the sky. Nice, easy twist. Engage your belly away from your thigh. Reach long through the back leg, drive through the heel. The gaze is up towards that top thumb if you can get there. Keep your left knee in tight. Reach the back heel. Two more breath. One more breath. Let's release that hand down the mat, kicking up, standing split. Right foot goes high to the sky. Let the nose come down towards the knee. Let that foot go as high as it can go. Two more breaths. Good. All right, start visualizing that warrior one. Big step back with the right foot warrior one on that left side. Square yourself up towards that front wall and breathe. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Good. Exhale the hands down to the mat. Send the left foot back here in plank. Good. Chaturanga low push up. Upward facing dog. Let's roll back to a downward facing dog. Left foot still. Left foot high to the sky. Step the left foot forward and through. Inhale up into warrior one. I'm sorry, knee to the nose, round the spine. My mistake. Drop the knee almost the mat. Head up hard forward. Extend it straight back. Down dog split. All right, let's get this right. Knee to the nose, round the spine. Drop it almost to the mat. Head up hard forward. Extend the left foot straight back. Down dog split. Let's step that left foot forward and through. Inhale up into warrior one. So again, don't be afraid to take this left foot a little bit left. If I go to heel to heel alignment, this is what starts happening to my hips. They start open. If I go a little wider, I can square. Breathe. Big inhale, exhale, twist. Right hand forward, left hand back, pull yourself into lunge legs. Good. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, back heel down, warrior one. Can you keep your hips square through this whole motion? And twist. Again, right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale, high lunge, hands high. Exhale, warrior one. Two breath here. One breath here. Good. Let's go ahead and twist. Right hand forward, left hand back. Drop the right hand down to the mat, left hand to the sky. Exhale. Swing the left arm down underneath that left thigh. And inhaling it up. And let's swing it down. And let's inhaling it up. And last time, swinging it down. 
and inhaling it up. Good. Drop that left hand down to the mat. Step the right foot forward, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky, sitting down into chair, we could toss in. Hands come into prayer, prayer twist, right elbow, left knee. So once you feel the top shoulder draw back and the bottom rib cage rotate through, think about heaving your heart towards that side wall you're looking at. At the same time, I want you to spread your back wide and get long as you can from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Two more breath here. One more breath here, and forward fold, hands down to the mat. All right, let's get a little heat going. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Palms come together, nice gentle back bend. Lift the heart up, let the head roll back. Push the pelvis forward. Exhale, forward fold, hands down through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, bend the knees, hop, step, jump back. Let's take a vinyasa to downward facing dog. We're into our flow section. We're gonna create some heat here, guys. Right foot strikes the high, pick it up nice and high. Point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. Right, take your right knee over to your left elbow, all the way across the body. Go right back to that hip opener you were just in. Again, right knee over to that left elbow. Back to that hip opener you were just in. Good, step that right foot forward and through. Come right into warrior one. Big inhale, hands come up nice and high. We're squared up towards that front wall. Okay, the warrior two is a back wall movement. So swivel turn, bend into your left leg. Flip the left palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Strain your left leg, shorten your stance just a touch, reach cock and tilt, finding trikonasana, triangle pose. Drop that left hand somewhere down below the knee. Right hand goes to the high, spread the back wide. Now, as you draw into the left hip socket, feel your left pelvis drive forward. Okay, as you feel the outside edge of this back foot, draw this top hip back. You can feel your pelvis square. Now, don't overarch, don't collapse your shoulder blades. Spread the back wide. Get out of this by pulling your rib cage together in the front, where we talked about earlier. Bend the knee, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Flow into a short reverse warrior, big inhale. Stay in the reverse warrior, just straighten the front leg, keep reaching towards the wall behind you. Come up onto the heel of that front foot if you can and breathe. As you drop that left foot down, cock your pelvis and reach back into that triangle you were just in. Breathe. Breath here. So you could stay right here. Okay. Next option is to take that right hand down behind the back and rotate that shoulder open. You could be here. Maybe her hand comes all the way to the inside of her groin. You could stop right here. If you can, left hand to your heart and point your left elbow towards your left big toe. Draw your top shoulder back, belly button, holding for three, for two for one, and release back into warrior two. You'll have to reestablish a little bit longer feet here. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cart with the hands down, stepping back into Vashi Stasana, right hand on that left hand of the sky, open it up towards this sidewall. So to your left. Breathe nice and easy here. Inhale, pick the left leg up just a little bit, let it hover. Just one more breath here. Exhale that foot and hand down into a vinyasa to downward facing dog. High to low, push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll back to a downward facing dog. All right, right foot again, right foot high to the sky. Point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. All right, right knee, left elbow, all the way across the body, back to that hip opener. And again, right knee, left elbow, across the body. Good, back to that hip opener. One last time, all the way over to that left elbow, take it over to the right elbow, go down dog split. Now step it forward and through, inhale up into warrior one. Big inhale, hands come up nice and high. Good. The exhale is a warrior two, front wall, so we'll turn and bend into your left leg. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. Straighten that front leg, reach cock into it, right into trikonasana, triangle pose. Breathe nice and easy here. So from here, what I want you to do is look at the front left corner of your, I'm um, um, sorry, right corner of your mat. Bend into that front leg, bring that left hand forward, cast your right leg off and find half moon, breathe. Once you get there, see if you can see us in your device. Breathe, get your head and at least look to the side. If your device is down on the ground in front of you, get your head up and look to the side wall. One more breath here. Good, step back warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cart with the hands down, step the foot back, let's take a vinyasa, high to low, push up. Upward facing dog, and let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Fantastic work, everybody. Two breath here. One more breath here. All right, left foot goes high to the sky. Point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. Left knee, right elbow, all the way across the body. And back to that hip opener. And again, 
and back to that hip opener. Good, step that foot forward and through, coming into warrior one. Big inhale, hands come up nice and high. So I am not a fan of repetitive, repetitive yoga. Sometimes that's not by choice. Sometimes I just forget. Big inhale, exhale, warrior two, back wall. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. All right, straighten your right leg, shorten your stance just a touch, reach cock and tilt right into triangle pose. So we were here on this other side, breathe. So again, feel your right foot, draw up into your right hip socket. Pull your right hip through towards the left side wall. Now pull your belly button in, there it is. Now feel the outside edge of your back left foot and draw the top shoulder back. Feel your hips really trying to square towards that side wall. Your heart wants to do the same thing your hips do. So shoulders and hips are kind of connected. They like to mirror each other. One more breath. Good, bend the knee, flip the palm, reverse warrior. It's a short reverse warrior. Big inhale here. Exhale, straighten the leg, keep reaching towards the wall behind you. Come up onto the heel of the right foot if you can. So you're creating a little length here. Drop that right foot down, reach that right hand way forward and drop it somewhere down below the knee, right back into triangle. Did you keep all that length? I hope so, because it probably felt good if you did. Let's go ahead and drop that left hand down behind the back, take a half bind. You could stay right here. If you can, right hand to your heart. Take your right elbow and point it towards your right foot. That's gonna keep the shoulders in one straight line. Breathe. Two more breath. One more breath. Good, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cart with the hands down, stepping back, Vashi Stas. Now left hand to the mat, right hand to the sky. Time, open it up towards that other wall. Good, once you get there, take a big inhale and pick your right leg up for another breath. On the next exhale, when your really hand comes down to the mat, let's take a vinyasa to downward facing dog. High to low push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Two breath here. One more breath here. All right, left foot goes high to the sky again. Point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. Left knee, right elbow, and back to that opener. So the first two are just like the front. And left knee, right elbow, back to that opener. Here's where we spice it up a little bit. Left knee, right elbow, take it over to the left elbow. Down dog split. Good, step the left foot forward and through. Inhale up into that warrior one. Good, warrior two, front wall. All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. Straighten the leg, reach cock and tilt right into this triangle. So we're here, breathe. So I pull my belly in tight, I close my rib cage. I try to create length in this lower side body. So you look to the front left corner of your mat. We bend into this right leg, the weight shifts forward. This arm straight down to the socket, cast this back leg off and find it, breathe. Two more breath here. One more breath here. And step back, warrior two. Good. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cart with the hands down, set the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa high to low, push up. Upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. All right, right foot goes high to the sky. Reach up nice and high. Right knee, right tricep. If you're a fly, fly. Extend the leg out, get the left leg up. Good, down dog split. Knee to the nose, round your spine. And back. Knee to the left tricep and hold it over there just for a second. You could fly on this side too. And down dog split. Good, step the right foot forward and through, inhale up into high lunge. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. Hands come into prayer. So here I talk about it all the time in the studio. Once we start moving, we don't stop till we get to the posture. We don't stop before the posture. We don't stop after the posture. It's gonna look a lot like this. It's one smooth move. I shift and I find it. All right, give it a try guys. Right into warrior three, breathe. Inhale, extend the arms forward. And exhale, extend the arms back. Keep the arms back. Inhale, bend your right leg. Exhale and straighten. Good, inhale the arms forward. Exhale the arms back. Inhale, bend the right leg. And exhale and straighten. Inhale, extend the arms forward. Pause for a second and step back into warrior two, opening up towards the sidewall. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Good. Extended side angle, right elbow down to the knee, left hand up over the head. So again, here, side body, length, belly's tight, strong. Great length here, breathe. Keep this legs engaged, front leg stays bent. You're gonna come back through warrior two, flip the palm, reverse the warrior, and drive this left hand across the body. 
Good, as you come back through, extend the right arm across the body and extend the left arm up over the head. And again, switch. Drive the left hand across the body, right hand comes up over the head, look up under that armpit. One more time the other way. Drive the right hand across the body, left hand up over the head, breathe. Good, let's come back into warrior two. All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. So just like we did in warrior three, I want half moon the same way. So this studio, I teach you to go into it slowly. If I say collapse down to the ground here, this is an awful looking half moon. But if I'm here, because I have short arms, it works. So if you always go to the floor or a block, you're not building core strength to do it. Control yourself till your spine gets perfect. So one smooth motion, let's find it. Weight shifts, calf the back leg off, find that half moon. If your hand's hovering, that's great. If you need a block just for a little stability, that's fine. One more breath. Drop the left hand down standing, split. Left foot goes high to the sky. Let the nose come down towards the knee, let that left foot go high. Two breath here. One breath here. Drop the left foot down next to the right, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky, sit down into chair. Hands come into prayer. Prayer, twist, right elbow, left knee. Right up. If you want to drop into side crow, release the hands down and go into your side crow. Holding here for three. Dewey potted both legs out. Split legs. Sarah's got going on. Jen's taking Dewey potted both legs out. Forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky, palms come together. Nice jump on back and lift the heart up, let the heart head roll back. Forward fold, hands down through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, bend the knees, hop, step, jump back. Let's take a vinyasa high to low push up. Upward facing dog. Let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Left foot goes high to the sky. Left knee, left tricep, and if you fly, maybe it's bent knee, maybe it's extended, try to get the right leg up. Good, knee to the, and take it back. Knee to the nose, round the spine. You could try to fly here and extend it back. Knee to the right tricep, maybe you fly here into side crow and extend it back. Let's step that left foot forward and through, inhale up into high lunge, strong through the back leg, drive through the heel, set the shoulders down. So keeping in mind all those things we kind of talked about on that front side, set your shoulders down, belly's tight, core's engaged, Knees tracking over the middle of that left foot. Hands come into prayer. Visualize that warrior three for a second. Again, once you start moving, you don't stop till you get to the posture. Not before it, not after it. Stop at it. Breathe. Holding here. Good. Inhale. Extend the arms forward. Exhale. Extend the arms back. Inhale. Bend your left leg. Exhale. End straighten. Again, inhale. Arms forward. Exhale. Arms back. Inhale. Bend the left leg. Exhale. End straighten. Inhale. The arms forward. And then exhale back into warrior two. There you go. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Extended side angle. Left elbow comes down to the knee. Right hand comes up over the head. We're breathing. Long and strong. Two big breath here. One more breath. Keep your legs where they are. We're going to reverse the warrior. And we're going to drive the right hand across the body. Reach the left hand up over. Good. As we Back, left hand drives across the body, right hand reaches over. And again, right arm across, left hand up and over. Last time, left hand across the body, right hand reaches up and over. Good, and warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. So when you go into that half moon, don't think about getting all the way there in one big motion. Slow, controlled movement. Take it half moon. Weight shifts. Find it. Breathe. Bend your standing left leg just a little bit. As you straighten it, drive your left pelvis through. Reach through your right heel and draw the top hip back. Now close your ribs. Everyone looks great. Breathe, 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 breathe. Standing split. Right hand down, right foot high. Drop the right foot down, exhale, left forward, fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky, sit down into chair. Hands come into prayer, prayer twist, left elbow, right knee. So again, this could be where you stay. You could split the arms. So if you split the arms, this could be your happy place. If you want to go side crow, release the hands down. Let that right knee come to the left elbow, let the weight shift forward. You got a good view how Sarah's got it going on. If you want to split the legs, 
or do we pot it, both legs out together. You can do either of those, two breath. Good, one more breath. And forward fold, top of the mat, awesome control, ladies. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale the hands up high to the sky, and let's pick the left knee up high, hold. Good, extend, bend, extend, bend. So I'm gonna be here on the knee. If you have toe lock, take toe lock, right hand to your hip. Good, there's show offs. Let's rotate open, breathe. I'm doing the Captain Morgan. One more breath here. Okay, drop back to center. So I'm gonna bring my right hand across the knee. They're gonna take it across the foot. Left hand's gonna reach back. We're gonna look towards the back wall, breathe. As you come back to center, hands come into prayer, pick the knee up, bend the knee. Good, visualize warrior three, take it. I know we've been on that right foot a little while, you're okay. Left hand down, right hand high, revolved half moon. Left hand down, right hand high. We're just got two more breath here, guys. Just one more breath. Big step back, open up into warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Straighten your right leg, turn your toes towards the side wall. Inhale, hands up high to the sky. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. If you're an inverter, invert. If you're at home, careful of what's around you, especially little ones. Have that inversion take. If you're not inverting, just let your head come down towards the mat. You can grab ankles, calves, or feet. Feel the crown of the head come down towards the ground. Breathe. Two more breath here. One more breath here. All right, headstanders, make your way down. We meet down in a forward fold. Let's inhale the hands up high to the sky. Let's go back into warrior two, right leg, bend into the right knee. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Good, extended side angle. So let's go through our bind sequence here. So you have a lot of choices when it comes to binding. First bind, left hand down behind the back, half bind. Great. To modify that half bind, put your left hand on your heart. That's great. So the next move would be a three-quarter bind. The elbow is still on this side. This right hand finds the left hand behind the back. That's three-quarter bind. If you have full bind, the left arm will drop down and find that right hand on the back side of the thigh. The key is, see how close her elbow and her knee are? We're not binding way up here at the groin. We're binding mid-thigh is where her arm is going, elbow really close to the knee. Now, with this bind, feel yourself pull your right hip through. Feel the outside edge of the back foot, draw the top hip back and the shoulder. Now, if you feel like you're collapsing your shoulder blades, knit your front ribs together just a touch. That's it, Sarah. Warrior two, fantastic. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's carve with the hands down, set the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa. High to low push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll back downward facing dog. Two breath here. One breath here. Good, inhale, bend both knees almost to my dream, bear plank. Good, two steps forward, hands and feet. Two steps back, hands and feet. Downward facing dog. Bending the knees, looking forward, hopper step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Draw the right knee up high. Good, extend, bend, extend, bend. So I'll bring my left hand to my hip, right hand to knee. If you have toe lock, take that toe lock. Rotate open. Join me in this Captain Morgan, or you can just hang there, breathe. As you draw the knee back, left hand across the knee or the foot, right hand reaches back, finding this twist. Two breath here. One breath here. Come back to center, hands come to prayer. Bend the knee, find it, use that core, guys. Warrior three. Just two breath here. Just one breath here. All right, right hand to the mat, left hand to the sky, revolved half moon. So reach to the back heel, extend the crown of that forward. Stack the arms straight up and down, one more breath. Big step back, open up warrior two. All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Straighten the leg, turn your toes towards the sidewall. All right, look to the camera for a second, guys. Just relax you two for a sec. So if you're just learning inversions, what I want you to think about is this. I come back edge of the mat, hands middle of the mat, head will start to go here. From here, the first step is kind of get to here, knees onto the arms. Then this happens. Once it's straight, the legs just don't matter. 
and I can take them up. I can do what I want, even at my size. Okay? As you round forward, feel your spine go long. Once the spine engages long, your feet are going to pop up. Then it's just wide legs up. All right, inhale, hands high. Forward fold all the way down. Again, if you invert, just careful what's around you guys. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breath here. One more breath here. All right, let's all meet down in a forward fold. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Warrior two, front wall. All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Extended side angle, left elbow down, the knee, right hand up over the head. Again, take the elbow, hand behind the back, half bind. Elbow in front of the knee. It can just be down here, or it can be at the heart. All right, next stage, I'd wiggle the fingers. I'd find three quarter bind. I'm here. I'm not gonna go into full bind because it hurts my shoulder. All right, I love you guys, but I don't wanna turn my rotator cuff over it. Sarah's got full bind going on. Two more breath here. One more breath here. And warrior two. Good, the palm reverse the warrior. Cartwheel the hands down, set the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa high to low, push up, upward facing dog. Let's roll back to a downward facing dog. Two big breath here. And one more breath here. All right, right foot goes high to the sky, point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee, feel the hip stack, pull the belly button in towards the spine. If you wanna flip your dog this morning, go ahead and drop that foot down, let the right hand roll back, find a beautiful back bend. If you can take that all the way into wheel, again, careful if you're doing that. Let's come back to a down dog split, right foot high to the sky. Step the right foot forward and through, right into high lunge, strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. All right, we're gonna have some fun with this one, guys. All right, so we're gonna go high lunge into half moon to warrior two, to half moon to warrior three, okay? I'm doing it with you, so don't just yell at me. Here we go. So weight shifts forward, right into half moon, right hand down, left hand high, right into half moon, just breathe. We just got one more breath here, big inhale. The exhale takes us back into warrior two. Let's split the palm, let's reverse the warrior, and let's go warrior two. Big inhale here, exhale right back into half moon. Bring your hands into prayer, bend your right knee and rotate your left hip down, rotate into warrior three. Good, step back, high lunge will be started. Big inhale here, exhale the hands down the mat, step the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. Good work. Left foot goes high to the sky, point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. Feel the hip stack, pull the belly button in towards the spine. If you're flipping your dog, flip it on over. Two big breath here. One more big breath here. Let's come back to a down dog split, left foot high. Step the left foot forward and through, inhale up into high lunge. So again, the more you visualize and then you find it hands high, visualize that half moon. Again, we stop at the motion, at the posture. One shift forward, find it. Keep moving till you find half moon, breathe. I got it, you guys got it, breathe. All right, step back warrior two. Flow right into reverse warrior. Let that half moon come into your brain. As you come back through warrior two, one smooth motion right back into half moon. Once you're there, hands come into prayer, bend your left knee a little bit, rotate your right hip down, find that warrior three. Good, step back, high lunge. Good, big inhale here. Exhale the hands down the mat, set the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. Two big breath here. One more breath here. Right, bending the knees, looking forward, hopper, step forward, forward, forward. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Draw the left knee up high. Left foot, ankle, calf, or groin. So, newbies, here, ankle. Got a little bit of balance, calf. Want to hurt yourself? Knee. Do not put it here. Knees don't go left, right. They go front, back. If you have to go higher than the calf, go groin, hands high. Breathe. Set your shoulders down. Good. Let's just close the eyes for it. And exhale, and then inhale them open. And close them for an exhale, and inhale them open. Left hand to the left knee, right hand stays high. Bring the knee forward, snatch the ankle, stand up tall. The first move is a kick and a reach. And then we're controlling ourselves into the toe. Drive the toe up and back with the heart, come forward, holding here for four, for three, 
you know I gotta release you into something. Ready? Warrior three. Release, foot back, hands come into prayer. Find warrior three. Good, step back, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Extended side angle, find your bind. Right into full bind. And warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cartwheel the hands down, set the left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. I am saying left. Inhale the hands up high to the sky, sit down into chair. Hands come into prayer, prayer twist. Right elbow, left knee, left knee, left knee, left knee. It's gonna make sense in a second. Split the arms. Right arm drifts between the legs and bind on that right thigh. If you have Bird of Paradise, root down into your left leg and just think, can I pick my right knee up high? I don't need to kick at all. Just pick the knee up, shoulders back, heart forward. Once you feel that pelvis and tailbone tuck under, then point the toe and kick, reach. Nice, guys. Breathe. And release, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. All right, so guys, if you're in that twist, inhale the hands up high, hands come in prayer. So if you're in that twist, and that bird feels funny, you could just be here. You could be here. All this is giving you the balance without the bind. Bind can be tough on shoulders. All right, let's shift the weight the other side. Weight shifts in the left foot. Right foot, ankle, calf are going. Tree. So again, close your ribs a smidge. That's gonna make your shoulders directly over your hips. Big inhale, exhale, close your eyes, and then just inhale them open. Again, exhale, close the eyes, and inhale them open. Right hand to the right knee, left hand stays high. Bring the knee forward, snatch the ankle, stand up tall. All right, so the first move is what? A kick. Then you start to reach and tilt at the same time. Finding balance, drive the toe up and back. Keep a micro bend in your left leg. Hold it for three. You remember where the release is going for two. We're gonna release into warrior three. Hands come into prayer, rotate that. Foot down, come out of the back bend, hands come into prayer. Big step back, open up warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And extended side angle. And let's go into half full or three quarter bind, the one that makes sense to you. Breathe nice and easy here. So you're using the full bind. You're kind of like pulling your bottom hip through, the left hip through. Close your rib cage. Don't collapse your shoulder blades behind you. One more breath. And warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's carve with the hands down, taking a vinyasa, high to low push up, upward facing dog, and roll on back to a downward facing dog. Bending the knees, looking forward, hopper step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky, sit down into chair. Good, hands come into prayer. Sarah, turn towards the mirror. Prayer twist, left elbow, right knee. So the first thing she's gonna do is she's gonna split her arms. The next is we drift the arm between the legs and we bind, Jen's got it going on too. Now, once you have your bind, take a second, relax. Let the weight shift into your right foot and then just pull the left knee up and stand up tall. All I want you to think about is standing up tall and drawing your shoulders back and down. If you can keep that bind, keep that bind. Once you're here and the tailbone tucks to neutral, point the toe down and then kick it up towards the sky. Uh-huh, take another full breath here. You ladies are awesome. And release, forward fold, so good. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Heel to your feet on nice and wide, sink down in the yogic squat. All right, the yogic squat. Before any time I practice, run, ride, whatever I'm gonna do, move furniture, put something together, do a thing, uh, some work around the house, this is what I do. I get in this squat and I let my hip flexors relax. Breathe, hands forward. Breathe, hands high. Breathe, hands wide. Breathe, palms up. Bring them forward, palms up. Breathe, out wide. Good. So I'm bringing back into prayer. Now, my tush is way down, my quads are angling down. Good, pressing the legs till they come parallel. Forward, out, keep them out, sit back down. Back to parallel. Forward, prayer, back down. So you could stay here for four or five more breaths if you're going into crow. 
Going to crow if you know how to do it. If you're new to crow, I step my feet together. Now watch. I want to start understanding how weight is distributed. Elbows come into the knees, hands are here. As I drop the hands down, I weight shift forward until I feel my, no, my toes just drift off the mat, and then I rock back. Over time, you'll just hold longer. Again, hands drop down, weight shifts forward, and I just hold here, a shallow crow, and release back, guys. Second one, maybe clean it up a little bit. Hands down, maybe knees higher. Tush higher, arms straighter. If you have headstand, you could drop into that, and if you're working on a float back, you can get that. Time fly today, guys. It's time to cool down already. All right, come on down. Shoot, jump, float back, taking a vinyasa to down dog. Right, let's step the right foot to the outside of the right wrist, coming into lizard pose on that right side, right into lizard. Forearms down. Back knee could absolutely be on the ground. If getting down those forearms really hurts that hip socket, stay up on your hands or put blocks under your elbows. If you're working into compass, lizard split, kundiana, bind, you may take any of those now. So if you're new to that kundiana, when I take this foot to the outside here, I keep this knee bent. This leg goes to an angle, and I just let the weight shift forward, and then I just try to pick the back knee up. Over time, I'll start to extend the legs. One more breath here. All right, press into the forearm, send your right foot back to meet your left forearm plank. Tall plank, come onto your hands. Forearm plank. Tall plank. Forearm plank. And tall plank. Down dog split, right foot high. Step the right foot forward between the hands, drop the left knee down to the mat, half or full split. So one is getting to a little bit of external rotation to that hip socket. This one's much more linear. So don't stress yourself out trying to get into a full split, especially if it's been a while. Half split done properly. Push over knee, heart coming down, head towards the toe. This is where I'd be. So if Sarah starts to round her shoulders in this, round your shoulders, see how it pulled herself up? Her tailbone's trying to match it. Now relax your shoulders. Now all of a sudden her pelvis just went neutral and it came back down. Last breath here. All right, bend into the front knee, power up your left leg. Send your right foot back into a down dog split. Step the right foot forward and through, inhale up into high lunge. Hands come into prayer, prayer twist, left elbow, right knee. Left hand high, right hand hard. So it's a half split arm. If you want to full split the arms, full split the arms. If you half or full reverse bind, half or full reverse bind. For a half reverse bind, your left hand will come to your right hip. So for Jen, she brought this left hand up to this right hip. She's using the elbow to pull through with this beautiful half bind. Sarah's got the full reverse bind version going on. One more breath here, guys. Release the hands down the mat, send the right back. Let's take a vinyasa to downward facing dog. High to low push up. Upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to the downward facing dog. Left foot goes high to the sky. Reach it up nice and high. Step the left foot to the outside left wrist. You're back in that lizard pose. Breathe. Try to get those forearms down. If you need to drop the back knee down, absolutely drop that back knee down and just chill. If you can juice it up and pick it up for a breath or two, do that. If that doesn't feel good, keep it on down. So trick here, what I want you to think about is bring your rib cage, your heart forward just a touch. Yeah, now pull your belly in tight. That's neutral spine core engagement. If you're taking a variation here, a compass, kunyana, lizard split, a bind of some sort, please go ahead and take that now. If you're staying right where you are, stay right where you are. Press into the forearm, send your left foot back to meet your right forearm plank. Breathe. We're here in this forearm plank. Good, right foot up, put it down. Left foot up, put it down, good. High plank, right hand forward, put it down. Left arm forward, put it down. Forearms down. 
right foot up, down, left foot up, down, high plank, right arm forward, down, left arm forward, down, fix your plank. Good. Take a vinyasa to downward facing dog. Left foot goes high to the sky. Step the left foot forward between the hands, drop the right knee down to the mat, straighten your left leg, half or full split. So many things I wanted to play with today we didn't quite get to, but that's okay. Hopefully you'll come back and see me, see me again real soon. We got about 14, 13 minutes left in class. Two more breath here. One more breath here. All right, let's bend in that front knee, power up your back leg. Send your left foot back to meet your right. And take your last vinyasa. Your last vinyasa, you should be in plank. That's okay. I was probably me. Two breath here. All right, one breath here. Bending the knees, looking forward, hop or step all the way through onto your tush. All right, so before we get into Panchimottanasana, we're going to open up these hip sockets a little bit more. So if you're really tight, and I say to do double pigeon, it's going to look like this. You're going to be like, oh, God, this is murder. I want you to think about just rotating this hip down, curl your toes back towards you, find double pigeon. So my right ankle is on my left knee. Right knee is coming down towards my left ankle. The legs should be stacked straight up and down. So for me, this is more than enough. I'm good. If you can hinge forward, maybe you drop your elbows in front of your shin. Maybe you're just working on getting this knee down and sitting up tall. Maybe you can release your arms completely forward and just let your heart come down. We're just taking three breaths here, guys. Two breath here, one breath here, and let's come up. Good, pick up this right foot, stir the pot. You could just be here. Next stage, you could try to bring this foot into the elbow crease and find a bind. You could be here. If you have floor compass, take your right shoulder inside of your right knee, release the right hand down to the ground. Left hand stays on the foot, kick. So you're here in floor compass, just relax. Now for the arm balance, guys, left hand drops to the outside of the left leg, bend your knees, hook them in front of your right foot, bend your elbows, bring your heart forward to kick to your right. Beautiful demonstrating, guys. And let's come back up. Okay, so go forward, swivel forward, both feet forward and forward fold into Paschimottanasana. Take two breaths here. We're gonna take a long Paschimo after both sides. One more breath here. And let's come up. All right, so switch to the other side. The other foot was on top before, do the other one. If you didn't follow along with me, that's okay. I'm gonna be left ankle, right knee, left knee down with the right ankle. So again, I'm sitting here, this is enough for me. My hips are screaming. Maybe walk forward, breathe. Belly's tight, core's engaged. Sit up tall, maybe hinge forward. All right, now come back. Grab that left foot, both hands stir the pot. Big stir is the pot. All right, left elbow. I mean, if the right elbow creases with the foot, left arm comes around the knee, sit up tall, cradle. You could stay here. If you're, if you're going into floor compass, left shoulder, release the left hand down, right hand stays on the foot, kick, go wide open. Here. So turn your left fingers a little bit facing the front of the room. Release your right hand to the outside of the right thigh. Hook your feet in front of your left hand. Bend your elbows and bring your weight forward. Kick to your left. There you guys go. Breathe. They make it look so easy. And let's come up. Good. Both feet forward. Remove the flesh from the sits bones. Big inhale. Hands up high. Exhale. Forward fold. Pashimotanasana. So we're going to be here about 30 seconds. So if you're doing static stretching, that means holds, long stretches, they need to be at least 30 seconds. It takes 30 seconds for the muscles to really go, okay, I'm now engaged because I'm stretching. Then it goes, oh, we're gonna stay here for a while. Let me try to relax. And that's what you want it to do. You're about halfway there. Last two breaths, last one breath, and let's come up. Left foot comes in the groin, right foot stays long. You can stay forward, Sarah. Forward fold towards your right foot. 
Johnny Shirshasana. Breathe nice and easy here. Let your heart come down towards your thighs. Crown the head extends forward towards the toe. Breathe nice and easy here. And let's come up. Let's open up that left foot like a hurdler. Right hand comes across the body. Maybe just rest on top of this left hip. So all I'm concerned is this left hand comes up over the head and we're square towards the sidewall. This is it. If it gets to the foot, that's just bonus. If it doesn't get to the foot, it doesn't matter. Are you square towards the side wall? Breathe. Two more breaths here. One more breath here. And let's come up. Let's swing the left foot over the right knee. Inhale the right hand high to the sky. Let's twist towards the side wall. Drop the right elbow across the left knee. Inhale, grow long through your spine. Exhale and twist. Look over your left shoulder. Again, inhale. Exhale and twist. Last time. Big inhale. Grow long. Exhale and twist. Good. Counter twist back the other way. If you wanted to take a baby hopper, the left hand grabs the top side of the right foot. Right hand comes in front of the shoulder. You pull yourself forward and bend into the elbow. Pull the elbow towards the ribs. There it is. And release. Good. Release that left foot forward. Right foot comes growing. Setting up for Johnny Shirshasana on this other side. Forward fold. Let your heart come down towards the thighs. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more big breaths. Let's take another breath. And let's come up. Open up that right foot like a hurdler. Left hand will come across the body. Right hand comes up over the head. Again, don't be so concerned with the foot. Be concerned with the squareness towards the sidewall. Breathe. Two more breath here. One more breath here. All right, let's swing the right foot over the left knee. Inhale the left hand to the high. Let's twist towards the right side. Drop the right elbow, left elbow across the right knee. Right hand comes behind the back. So the inhale creates length from the tailbone to the crown of the head. The exhale creates rotation. You look over your back shoulder. Again, inhale, create length. Exhale as you twist. Pull yourself through with your left elbow. Last one. All right, let's counter twist back the other way. Again, if you want to take that baby hopper, you're welcome to grab that left foot with the right hand. You take it from the top side, and then you pull yourself forward and release. Good. Both feet forward. Let's go all the way onto our backs. Soles the feet together, knees out nice and wide. Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand to the heart, one hand to the tummy. Just breathe nice and easy here. Let's do two back bends, and then I'm going to give you a little bit of time to play with something you want to play with, and then we're going to get on out of here. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Still bent knees and then draw the knees together. Just feel this just for a few seconds. Just let the internal stabilizer just get a little stretch. Back is, back is nice and flat down on the mat here. Breathe. All right, bring the heels close to touch hands by your side. All right, push into bridge. If you're rather going to wheel, it's hands up over the head. Wheel, choice is yours. Bridge or wheel. We're going to do two. So if you want to do one of each, that sounds like a good plan. Think of this as an ever-expanding arch getting bigger, bigger, bigger over time, not condensing down upon itself. If you have an achy back in one spot, think about that spot and think about expanding it. And release down. Windshield wipe with those knees left and right, left and right, left and right. So guys, look to the camera for a second. So go back up into your wheel. So if she had a bad vertebrae right here, middle of your back, her lumbar is right, I would say Think about that spot and then create length, like you're trying to make the arch grander. All right, that will relieve some of that pain. All right, second one, you're ready. Bridge your wheel. Take it. Thank you, Sarah. And then release down. Windshield wipe the knees left and right. All right, so your choice is here. You could do legs up the wall with a wall or without a wall. If you're a shoulder stander, go ahead and take shoulder stand. If you want to go into a headstand or a handstand, go into a headstand or a handstand. I'm going to give you about a minute to play. So if you're getting into that headstand, try for this one minute hold. I'm going to give you a couple seconds to get there. All right, if you're just about set up, I'm going to start my timer just about now. You get there when you're ready. So whatever you're in right now, whether it's legs up, headstand, handstand, forearm stand, shoulder stand, just try to relax, great length. This inversion, no matter which one it is, is creating circulation back towards the brain. It's helping to stimulate the mind, calm the body.
If you're thinking about that one minute hold that you're in, you're about halfway there. So just relax. Let go of that first half of it and try to find some calm here for the last few seconds. So the key to these inversions is in using the rib cage and the core. You got about 10 seconds here. If you're in shoulder stand, start making your way back into plow. If you're in a headstand, handstand, you can go into child's pose. From plow, you're gonna roll forward all the way onto your back. From child's pose, you're gonna meet us on our backs. So we all meet on our backs. Hands come up underneath the bum, lift the heart up, and let the head roll back. Let's find fish pose, matziatsa. Lift the heart up, head roll back and breathe. Two big breath here. One more breath here. And then releasing down. All right, bend the knees, grab the outsides of the feet, pull the knees down towards the armpits, happy baby. Pull a little more with the right than the left. A little more on the left than the right. And then release out, finding fun and relaxation whenever you are ready. Release the hands down by the sides, palms facing up in a receiving motion. Let the legs splay away from each other. Legs are long and just breathe. If there's any final adjustments you need to make to yourself today, any twists, turns, you may take those, maybe dropping both knees to one side and then the other for a couple breaths, and then you'll come and meet us in your Shavasana when you are ready. Find some calm. So many of you know I was a builder for many years, a developer. I've built about 650 houses in the Washington metropolitan area. In the last 300 of those I did on my own. And the market kind of crashed, kind of threw me out of that business and I ended up doing this, something I love. I found yoga as a way to deal with some stress in a difficult time. The market was imploding for real estate. I was going through a divorce. And at the studio I was practicing at, they said a teacher training was coming up and they were seeing me basically at least once, sometimes twice. And they said, you should do the teacher training. And I said, well, when is it? And they said, it's the weekends. I go, well, I got weekends every other weekend. What weekends? And I looked at the schedule and it just must've been fate. It was the absolute opposite weekends that I had my kids. So I took the training, loved it. First year after training, maybe I taught six classes, subbed a little bit. Next year, I subbed a little bit more. And then all of a sudden, I started teaching a lot. And then I opened a studio. And if you had told me when I was a builder that I would be a yoga studio owner, just a few years later, I would have thought you were nuts. But you never know where something's going to take you. So as this crisis has hit, I knew nothing about Zoom, never heard of it. I didn't have a YouTube channel, that's for sure. I do now. I didn't know how to stream video. I didn't know how to make a microphone work. I did not even know the password to get in my Instagram that someone used to take care of for me and I had to find that person, track them down and they were very sweet about sending it to me. So I got my daughters helping me with social media. I figured out a lot about technology myself. But if I had really just stressed myself out about it, it would have not gone well. The people I know that are most successful in life, they tend to handle stress, even if they like stress, well. They can cut through it. They can manage it. That doesn't mean they don't feel it. So next time you're in a stressful position, and what I want you to do is accept that life is stressful. Things are stressful. And just think, how can I manage the stress that's going on now? Control those things you can't and adapt to those things, things that you can't control. Let's bring some attention back to our fingers and our toes, giving them a wiggle. Pull the knees into the chest and give them a hug, rolling to your left side and then push to a seated position facing the front of the room, whatever that is to you guys. Hands come to prayer, heart center, eyes are closed, breathe nice and easy here. So I want you to think of someone that you know is a little bit isolated right now, maybe physically, maybe emotionally, maybe both. Send them some loving, maybe reach out to them today. Make sure you check in with your parents, your kids. Get outside, walk your dog, play with your kids. 
Big inhale through the nose, big exhale out the mouth. Ha. Ah. Thumbs come to the third eye as we bow forward. Namaste. I'd like to thank both Jen and Sarah. They're both studio uh, teachers here, and you will see them online. I have a lot of great content online. If you go to my uh, web page, you can find everything pretty quickly and easily on there. If you're out of town or just can't make it live streaming, we do have on demand. Again, everything right now is on a donation basis. So if you're just not in a position to do that right now, don't worry about it. Enjoy the yoga. I'd love to see you all again real soon. Until next time, namaste. Thanks, everyone. Everyone have a great day. It was great to see how many people came in to see me today. I love you all. Be safe.